The subject of this video is something to tell about the small signal transistors and small signal FETs. So we don't talk about say power transistors, power FETs, MOSFETs, etc. etc. I say I refurbished my uh, transistor tester today making new wirings and new crocodile clips and uh, at the same time I wanted to test a bunch of transistors here that were say discarded uh, after many uh, experiments so perhaps it's a good idea to tell something about uh, small signal transistors and field effect transistors. Uh, in fact, I only use two uh, field effect transistors in my hobby practice, and that is the so called BF245. And at the same time, we have the BF256B that has the same properties compared to the BF245. That BF245 is obsolete. It was made in the past, as far as I know, by Philips in the 1980s, 1990s perhaps. And it is a very, very useful um, field effect transistor because of its extremely good property that it has an, say, an endless impedance on its gate. That's say, the most important thing of a field effect transistor. And here are the pin connections of the BF245 drain, source, gate. Uh, this gate goes often to the coil, the radio coil or the tank circuit. The drain goes to the positive lead and you can set the drain voltage between say approximately 4 volts and uh, 10 volts. And the source goes to the minus via a resistor of in general 10,000 ohms and then you can pick up the amplified signal out of the source. Via a capacitor of say approximately in the range of 10 nanofarad up to 100 nanofarad. And then you have a kind of circuit that is comparable to a triode tube. Anyway, so the BF256B has the same properties as uh, the BF245. Anyway, uh, and of course there are also many, say, uh, standard transistors, no field effect transistors like the BF195, the BF194 and the BF199 and this is the say modern, transi modern transistor that you can buy everywhere on the on the world wide web the BF199 and it has a good amplification factor it is an MPN silicon transistor and I have uh, tested it in the past and uh, say the the DC amplification can differ between say 70 and 130. It's always important to test such a high frequency transistor also on its DC amplification factor. Uh, that's very important for, for, uh, for the usability of such a transistor. So uh, take a say transistor tester. This is my transistor tester at the moment, and test such a high frequency transistor. Also say on its low frequency DC amplification 
properties. Uh, its DC uh, amplification properties tell you very much about the high frequency amplification properties anyway. My transistor tester, etc. etc. Uh, here say a box with high frequency transistors and field effect transistors and here we have the many famous I don't use them at the moment but many famous high frequency transistors say uh, MOSFETs like the 2N well I don't know exactly the type number but anyway I will give the type number in the text box and of course say the G109 is a field effect transistor and etc etc. A box of many goodies in terms of uh, high, fre high frequency transistors and here for instance other high frequency transistors field effect transistor or not but it could be of course not very interesting because I don't show the type numbers so anyway uh, more important are for instance the type numbers and I have told already about the BF199 its uh, amplification factor and say Let's go now to say uh, medium power, not medium power, but small signal transistors. Uh, they are often named in Euro Europe by the code BC. So here we have the BC557, that's a PMP transistor. Its amplification factor is approximately between 200 and 300, that's very good. And here we have another bunch of PMP transistors, the BC556B, and in this box there are many more PMP transistors. And furthermore, say this must be a kind of focus in this video. The BC547 is the best universal NPN transistor that you can buy. It always works good. It works between say 1 Hz and 9 MHz. I don't know why it always works. It has uh, say something to do with the properties inside of how that transistor was made. Uh, in my opinion, as far as I know, it's a so-called MESA transistor. And the amplification is very high, say between 300 and 350. So when you make experimental circuits with an NPN transistor, use the BC547. Uh, uh, nowadays we only have, say, the BC547B number B. In the past we had the, B, the BC547A and the BC547C, but the BC547B is say the most sold NPN, NPN transistor with extremely good properties and it's also very cheap. So here are a bunch of all kinds of transistors anyway. Um, Interesting, perhaps I tested here the BC549C. Uh, does it have an amplification factor of 500? So, you see my uh, transistor tester, and the pointer moves to say 500. Well, that is a problem, and on the other hand, it's not a problem. Such a transistor really can amplify 500 times, but in general, when you want to use such a transistor, be it a 549C 
or uh, perhaps an other uh, uh, PMP transistor with the same properties, it could be that that amplification is far too high. So in general you need for say an audio amplifier, perhaps a high frequency amplifier, two transistors and uh, each transistor has to amplify in general uh, approximately 250 times or 300 times and 300 multiplied by 300 that means an enormous amplification. So it could be that this transistor has in fact a too high amplification but on the other hand uh, I don't want to say bad things about this uh, typical transistor. Could be that you can use that, say, in a one stage amplifier. And well, I, I told that it was uh, a PMP, but it is but it is NPN. So the BC549C is an NPN transistor. Not a PMP transistor anyway, it has a very very high amplification factor. Say I want to be very clear in this situation because perhaps I made a mistake in the earlier part of the video. The BC549C is a NPN transistor. So, thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit clear. And well, uh, when you want to say do experiments with small signal transistors, use the B, C, 5, 4, 7, B. And many of them, many of the B, C, 5, 4, 7, B transistors are here in this box. I always use them.